afternoon, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of very sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 2 p.m. update, and uh, of course, we got the Fed announcement. Uh, the Fed decision is uh, what? Uh, I don't see much movement in the equities just yet, and just waiting for it to show up on the uh, TV screen out there. I'm sure it's got to be a increase. Yeah, increase of 0.75 percent for the uh, Fed funds rate out there. So now let's kind of watch these uh, markets out here right now. You've got the Dow up 102 points. S&P's up about 54. Of course, we've got a little frozen screen out there while, uh, you know, my, I've got a lot of things that are open as we speak. NASDAQ's up 325. So not seeing a substantial change, at least not just yet. But you want to stay tuned. You'll certainly want to stay tuned to the uh, Power Trading Hour out there with uh, David White as we uh, see how these markets respond. Now, remember, Fed Powell is out with his uh, Q&A that begins, I believe, at about 230 so uh, we, you know, we may see market reactions uh, throughout the uh, day. In fact, we might see some type of market reaction tomorrow. Whatever happens today, the market will think about it and wonder, did it make the right decision based upon whatever information is out there? So right now you've got all the U.S. equity futures, uh, equity markets, not the futures, but the uh, equity markets out there still trading to the upside, holding on to their gains, not seeing much in the way of movement inside of gold, silver or lights we crude at this stage. So um what more can uh, Stevie add to it? Uh, I mean, we can go take a look at charts, but there's not much movement out here. Let's just, uh, you know, come take. Well, take a look at the index ETFs out here. So let me just move over to those. So here's what we've got. This is interesting. You've got the uh, spies that are trading into their swing point from July 22nd. That swing point has volume of 72 million shares. You're coming into that swing point with very light volume, 27 million. In the case of the NQ, the swing point, is from the trading day of July 22nd. Volume there was 57 million shares. You're at 28 million shares. Only two hours left to go. Not a lot of volume. So it's not signaling to us that it wants to take out that level, but likely that it may trade up to those highs. Um, so that's one possibility. If you take a look at the Dow Diamonds, they're trading into a swing point that has 3.2 million shares. You're only 1.2. So light in the loafers there. And in the case of the IWM, its swing point, the July 22nd swing point, has 25 million shares. You've done 10. So uh, it's not like the markets are busting out the highs with volume. The reason is because they're not. Folks, stay tuned. Your favorite polar bear is up next. Have a, a wonderful Wednesday. I'll see you tomorrow. Terrific Thursday, 1 o'clock sharp. Take care.